Let's talk to Lonnie Quinn about our first alert forecast. Gorgeous today. Mm -hmm. How about tomorrow? Gorgeous again. And then after that? Not, not as gorgeous. Much, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and then we get to the weekend. I think the weekend, as we look ahead, I think there could be some spots that pick up some sizable rainfall amounts. But let's first talk about how great it is outside right now. And, and look, I'm always preaching that. Yes, you look down the road, I see some bad weather. But I see great weather for tomorrow, so come on. Take that, run with it for the next 24 hours. It's beautiful outside. You are 70 degrees right now as we speak. We maxed out today at 80 degrees. Tomorrow we're going to max you out at 81. All right, that's Central Park. Is it going to be a record? I think we're going to fall shy of records. Central Park, the record is 88, so you're 7 degrees below, but still pretty nice at 81. The closest we get to a record by our projections would be Islip. The record is 82, forecasting a 78, so you're within 4 degrees. About four to seven degrees, cooler than the records, but still beautiful for everybody out there. What about the skies overhead? They're going to be just great. Here's your Wednesday future cast. No issues. That little sparkle that you see, there could be a little bit of fog developing at the coastline. Here we are Thursday morning, that same possibility. In terms of rain for Thursday, maybe some filtered sunshine. I don't really see rain. Better chance for rain is going to be Friday. All right, here's 1 p.m., a little bit of leading rain out there. But this is the front that gives us a better chance for rain on Saturday. This is the front that gives us a better chance for rain. All right, I'm pointing at this, and yet this is a lot more impressive, is it not? This is a projection of where Tropical Storm Philippe will be by the time we get to Friday, 1 o'clock. They have it somewhere off of the Outer Banks. All right, now the center of this mess, it's a messy system, is probably well offshore, but we're watching that. And if you look at the extended forecast, again, this is Friday, 1 p.m. Let's watch how this is going to work out because this will push to the north as the front pushes to the east. And yeah, there's going to be a little merging, a little, a little phasing between the two. Watch this. I mean, that's a pretty wet setup right there. This would basically be your center of circulation. So it is offshore. It's pushing up more towards, you know, Maine, maybe, maybe, maybe Nova Scotia. But also at this point in time, Saturday, 11 p.m., I don't think it's a tropical storm. I think it's just a remnant low. Then you're going to get to, you know, by the time you get to Sunday and Monday, it's more about this blue color, if you will, sort of pushing into the area. That's cold air. Much colder by the time you get to Sunday and Monday. So Tropical Storm Philippe is going to move just like this. Here we are, okay, tri-state right there, Long Island, Connecticut. It's offshore, but again, it's churning up our oceans, could be spilling some rain into our area as well. So the rainfall numbers, and I gotta show you this, it's pretty darn impressive. Not eight, nine inches like we have the last system, but look at that. A lot of folks west of the city are an inch or less. And then there's that one swath from Bridgeport over to Riverhead where you're seeing three inches. It's an early projection, but let's just keep that in the back of our heads that it could be more rain on some saturated ground and already the second wettest September in our history, Mo. Last and now, now we're talking, you know, possibly some folks seeing some big rain on, uh, on Saturday. So we'll yeah. watch all that. So Friday into Saturday is your rain chance and then cooler air, 60s, maybe even some upper 50s for Sunday, Monday, Tuesday. All right, buckle up. Thank you, Lonnie.